Our next guest was the 94th black woman in history to raise more than a million dollars in venture capital. She's also the North Texas native at the helm of a Dallas-based company creating the first educational metaverse that, imagine this, will turn school into a video game. My son would have loved it. Stimuli Studios founder and CEO Taylor Shedd is here to tell us more. Good morning, son. Great to have you in the studio. Good morning, Jane, and good morning, Texas. Ah, I read all about you, and I'm so impressed. What is Stimuli? Stimuli is the country's first educational metaverse. We're leveraging AI and video games in order to do something that is, hasn't been humanly possible before, personalized learning and curriculum for every kid in the class. Okay, you're, you're way beyond me, right, even right now. But so a little bit about you. You were born and raised in Plano, the youngest of seven kids, went on to be a Division I athlete, went to Loyola Marymount in Los Angeles. What made, motivated you out of all that to want to impact education? So, well, you know, when I was a young kid, um, I knew three things about myself. I wanted to help people. I loved biology, and I grew up watching Grey's Anatomy. I wanted to become a reconstructive plastic surgeon. And you know, with that, I got into college and I recognized I didn't have the math skills I needed to succeed in chemistry. And I thought, growing up in Plano, I had all the resources I would have needed. What about my cousins? What about people that didn't have all the resources that I had? Mm -hmm. If I was struggling in education, then that really means that everybody is, no matter what your socioeconomic status is. So what problems does Stimuli, your company, solve and how? Sure, there's um, some micro problems and macro problems we're solving. So when you look at the classroom, it's really getting down to personalized learning. In the classroom, you know, we're teaching the same math problem to every kid and expecting everybody to absorb it the exact right. same way. But in order to increase learning and increase engagement, you really have to personalize it to what a kid loves, to what they care about in their career, what their future aspirations are. So that's the problem that fixes within the classroom. And when you look at the macro problem, right now we have a problem with workforce development in our country. And so what we're doing is we're working with K-12 students to get them really inspired about their career and getting them excited about the skills that they'll need to develop and ultimately helping them prepare for the workforce. You got some big ideas, that's all I can say. So how's the game work? So you step into our game and we first have a conversation with you and an avatar to say, you know, what are you interested in? What are your favorite brands? What are you passionate about? And then we analyze, what are you supposed to be learning in school? Is it algebra? Is it geometry? And then we create a personalized learning quest in this video game that's tailored to exactly what you want to do. Wow, I could, I'm looking at it, and I can imagine how kids would be fascinated by this. So how has the platform improved the learning experience for students that you know of so far? Certainly. So um, the first thing you have to think about is only 25% of our eighth graders are proficient in math, and I know that's a shocking statistic. Wow. But on our platform, we saw that 93% of kids were reaching mastery in math. And that's just something that's unheard of. And then on the workforce development side, when you're talking about high school students using our platform to prepare for internships and apprenticeships, those high school students have been able to get jobs working for Fortune 500 companies right out of high school, making 60 and $70,000 a year. Wow. And that's absolutely transformational. Absolutely. Um, so Dallas isn't really, I mean, we have some tech here, but you moved here from California, which is a real tech hub. Why? Why'd you come back here? You know, I care about my local neighborhood. My dad gave me a call and said, you know, Taylor, when I moved my business from Los Angeles to Dallas, it just really took off. There's the second largest school district in Texas here in Dallas ISD. Mm -hmm. Come back home and let's see what we can do in impacting, you know, your own community. So what's one of the biggest projects you're excited about here? All right, so, um, you know, the Economic Development Administration has come out with something called regional tech hubs. And Dallas has been designated a regional tech hub focused on developing all the chips that make our cars, that make our cell phones, that make everything work. And so Stimuli is partnered with SMU and all the other higher education institutions and Texas Instruments in order to say, how can we build a digital learning hub and workforce development center that will be available to everybody in the community. So what am I excited for? I'm excited to be a part of this big grant that we're applying for, $75 million, that's aimed at absolutely bringing more jobs to every single community. It doesn't matter if you're rural, urban, suburban. We want to bring opportunity to everybody at the exact same time. You're doing some really good work. If somebody wants to find you to learn more about what you're doing, if they uh, are interested in investing, whatever, how do people find you? All right, I'm going to give everybody my email address. It's taylor at stimuli.net, or you can reach out to us on social media. My personal social media is M-I-S-S, -S, Taylor Shed, or Stimuli Studios. 
fascinating. Thank you so much for telling me and our viewers about such exciting stuff you're doing. Congratulations. Thank you. Really cool stuff. Aaron, 